What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sports Gambling Daily. My name is Jared, and uh, hey, it is a Thursday. It is June 6th. Man, I am so excited. I have a bunch of things I want to talk to you guys about. We got some changes coming to this channel. We got some big things brewing with my channel. So um, I'm definitely excited to tell you about that. But let me first tell you um, hey, if you're new, well, welcome to the show. Um, I pretty much what I try to do here is post daily sports betting content where I give you my picks and plays and breakdowns from my sports betting systems. Now, what those systems are designed to do is uh, find matchups that we can exploit for maximum profitability. So if that sounds like something you're interested in. Consider hitting that red subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And also, uh, you know, leave a comment. Let me know who you are betting today. I'm definitely interested to see what kind of action you are on today. All right, so big changes to the channel. So I have created, along with three other members, uh, the Sports Gambling Daily Network. We are going to put all the videos in the network under one channel, which will be this channel. I'm proud to announce that Peyton Sports Girl will be part of the network. Joe from Live Betting Sports Daily will be part of the network. And there's also another fellow named Peanut. He will also be part of the network. We are going to be forming as a team. There will be multiple po podcasts. We will all have our individual shows, but they'll all under be, they'll all will be under one roof. So uh, I'm excited about that. Um, we will be creating a website here very <laughs> shortly where we will be offering premium plays for a very good price where it's basically a consensus play between all of the all the members in the group. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm excited about that. And um, yeah, uh, we got a bright future ahead of us. I'm looking forward to it. So that is the big news of the channel. So um, but anyway, let's just get into today's play. I have a, I have one play to go over with you guys right now. It is the Twins versus the Indians. So we got Jose Barrios versus Trevor Bauer. We got righty on righty matchup. Uh, the Twins red hot. Uh, even though they've they've lost two in a row yesterday, they got beat up a little bit um, at the last minute. There, they they gave the game away after that rain delay. Anyway, they're 40 and 20 on the year, going against Cleveland 31 and 30. Uh, this this game takes place at 7:10 Eastern time in Cleveland, Ohio. Now Barrios is fresh off a quality start against the Tampa Bay Rays, which he allowed just three runs and struck out eight over six and two thirds innings. Now the righty is four and two with a 4.00 ERA and eight career starts versus Cleveland. Now, Trevor Bauer, four and five on the year. Uh, Bauer and uh, Frank Kona, their manager, they both thought that he was back to his old self last time out, but there's no way you could come to that conclusion after looking at the scorecard. Um, as the Indians play their worst defense of the season, Bauer gave up six runs, but it really wasn't his fault. Uh, only two of those six runs were earned on nine hits through seven innings. Innings. Now, he's been the recipient of some very, very poor luck. All right, so um, as far as Minnesota batters versus Bauer, uh, Jorge Polanco has 22 at-bats and three home runs versus Bauer, sporting a 2.73 ERA. Eddie Rosario, now he is batting three or .308 versus Trevor Bauer with two home runs and nine RBIs. All right, let's look at some notes I have here for you guys. We have, all right, so when Jose Barrio starts this year, the Twins are 10 and 2. That's pretty impressive. Now, the over, it's 7 3 and 2 to the over. All right, so when the Twins are on the road, they're 21 and 11, which makes sense since they are one of the dominant teams in the American League. Road favorites, which is what they are right now, currently, the line's pretty close. But they are 8-1 and one when they're on the road, and they are the favorites. And Barrios' last five games that he's pitched, the Twins are 4-1. and one. Now, Trevor Bauer, let's look at his stats. 
Six and seven when he pitches. That's what Cleveland is. Six and seven. And it's six six and seven to the under. Now the home record, 17 and 14. Home underdog, which is what they currently are right now, even though it's extremely close. Um, the last line I saw, it was minus 105 Minnesota plus 100 to Cleveland. So home underdog, two and two. And the last five times, they gave Bauer the ball. The um, Indians have lost uh, four out of those five games. Let's see what's trending here. Now, the Twins are 18-4 and four in their last 22 games during game three of a series. So that shows you that... That they're not they're not letting their uh you know they're they're not going through the motions they are obviously focused they you know they realize it's a, it's a travel day typically the game three is a travel day and they're still locked in this is a sign of a very good team now the Indians are zero and four in their last four home games versus a right-handed pitcher and the Twins are four and one in Barrios's last five starts versus the Indians. As you can see here, now this is the lines coming from Pinnacle. Um, let's see, ninety-three percent of the money is on the visitor, so ninety-three percent of the money is on the Twins at the moment. This is pretty much the overnight, uh, over, overnight line movements um, in money. So eighty-six percent of the tickets is on. The visitors, so you can see there's even more money on the, uh, or even more action on the money. So this tells me that there's sharp and public money coming in on the Twins here. So all that being said, give me the Twins minus 105 at five dimes, 100 to win 95. All right, there will be some more additional plays today. Um, this is how you find them. So I have a Discord. Discord is a group of almost 800 individuals, like-minded individuals such as yourself. Um, I'm excited to uh, bring in the rest of you guys if you guys are wanting to join. Um, come over here to Instagram. Sports Gambling Daily is the platform. And um, you send me a direct message and I will get you the link. We'll have a small conversation and everything will be all good. Now, look, guys. I'm extremely excited to start this network. Um, we're going to have these three amazing uh, new additions to the channel. There's going to be podcasts. There's going to be all kinds of fun stuff here. So definitely looking forward to that. I hope you guys are as well. All right. That will do it for today's show. Let me move it to this slide. Boom. All right. Um, so that will do it for Today show. Oh, well, I guess I should talk a little bit about yesterday. So we had the Marlins plus 229. Man, the Marlins have been smoking hot lately, um, which is incredible. The Twins broke my heart yesterday. I had the Twins at minus 122, I think it was. And they went into that rain delay up by one. And they, when they came back, they gave up the long ball. And Cleveland came back and beat them. That was very unfortunate. I also had the over in the Baltimore game. That did not work out very well for me. Uh, the total was only three through the whole game. And it, we even went to extra innings. And then, uh, of course, the White Sox versus the Nationals. That was brutal. Uh, the White Sox fought back, um, tied it up 4-4. Four to four just to give it up in the bottom of the ninth inning on a walk-off two-run home run by Trey Turner of all people. Now, Trey Turner, he's a great shortstop, obviously. And, you know, he's probably going to be an all-star in the future. But it was disappointing considering the price we were getting. So, of course, those kind of plays, the plus two twenty, the anything over two plus 200 is a very high-variance play. So, White Sox in that spot, it was still the right play, you know, is considering how close that game was. Um, well, I think I want to say it was plus 200 in that spot. It was either plus 200 or 180. I can't remember exactly. Maybe it was plus 170 or 180, but still it was a high variant spot. And I definitely believe we made the right play, even though it didn't work out for us in the end. Um, obviously Miami is on a roll. I'm not sure why they gave Jeff Nelson and the Brewers so much respect yesterday. And even today, it makes a little more sense. They're still minus 200. The Brewers are. Um, but this one makes a little more sense. So uh, I can see why they might, you know, I could see the Miami losing this one. Anyway, 
Make sure you check out the podcast that'll be uh, that'll be coming out later today between you know the crew and um, yeah, that'll be it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck to you. Good luck to me. Good luck to all of us. And I'll see you guys on a Friday edition of Sports Gambling Daily. Peace.